What's up guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com in downtown Manhattan, New York City, because it is Filson's 125th anniversary this year. They were founded all the way back in 1897, and they invited me to check out their new offerings of 2022. They've got a lot of really interesting, uh, very anniversary themed one-off goods we're gonna take a look at, so uh, let's go inside. Okay, I am here with Greg, the account executive for wholesale for the Eastern Seaboard and Canada for Filson. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. So it is Filson's 125th anniversary this year, 1897. Uh, so we're gonna walk through some of the, the outerwear pieces because Filson, among many other terrific products that they come out with, the outerwear is like the tippy top of the kind of stuff that Filson comes out with. And I have talked incessantly on my channel about the Filson Mackinac. I have the classic Buffalo plaid version. It is the most iconic wool jacket of all time. And you have new new versions of it coming out for yes. 2022. All right, so like walk me through this one. This is brand new, limited edition, 125th anniversary Filson Mackinac. Yes, every year we do one limited colorway, a plaid. We have our core colors that we continue doing, the red, black, the green, charcoal. This is the new color, it's a gold okra ombre, and it's our 26 ounce Mackinac wool, made in Seattle, nine pockets. One of my personal favorites, I mean, I've seen many that we've done over the years, and I just, the color is just great, and the, it's a little different plaid than the traditional, just square, red, black, um, with the smaller lines through it. Awesome. Like and you have other limited release Mackinac's as well. Yes, year. we do. All we right. are doing some very, very limited ones. Let's 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 take a walk over. We we had to had sort of had a little bit of a, a, a squabble of it if we were allowed to show these or not because this is very tip top secret Filson Mackinac's and very limited run like only what a hundred of these are gonna be made. Yes, a hundred of each color and they will be dropping at different times. So that's a very very small run. And what we did was we went and found some of the old fabric colors that we have done before in the past like the blue-black, this charcoal one we've done, all these are different uh, Mackinac cruisers that we've done and pieced them together oh, wow. in this patchwork. It's Mackinac a, it's a literal patchwork? Yes. All right, let, let's check out, this is, the, this is the same? Oh yeah, I, I recognize these. Yeah. Very cool. Have you guys done like these irregular patchwork type Mackinac's before? No, nothing like it. Look at this gray one. This one's amazing. The this gray. is really cool. Yeah. This is very, very cool. How do people find these? These there's only a hundred of them made. How do they how do they get them? Uh, that would be a good question. I don't have the details on how we're going to do that yet. So yeah, have to stay tuned on that. Do you know when they're getting released later this year? Uh, it will be fall season, but I don't have months. I think they're going to come out each one at a time. Uh -huh. Um, one month we'll drop this color and the next one the next color, but All right. well, that's details later on that. Well, if you like your Mackinac's, keep an eye out for these yes. ultra limited edition ones. It'll probably appreciate in value with age as well. <laughs> this is a new uh, vest that we're coming out with. It is a liner or you can just wear it as a vest. It's reversible. It's an ultralight ribstop and it's a Prima Loft. 100 grams and it reverses to a solid. This one reverses to orange. As you can see on the inside, and this is the other colorway, more of a tonal. Those playing along at home, the rip stop means it stops rips. It is very hard to rip, but like it won't like keep on right. tearing if you get a hole in it. And it's primal off, meaning it is insulated. Right, about 100 grams. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, very nice. These, these, these are the two new ones for this year. Yes, and this also comes in a jacket as well. Oh, yeah? So the same two colorways in a jacket, which you'll see. That is snazzy. Very excited about this piece. Very cool. Okay, so next up, I, I thought you said these were snow jackets, but they're Snohomish. Yes, Snohomish is a town outside of Seattle. Okay, but they'll also go on the snow? Uh, you could, yeah. I mean, it's this is... This is wool, right? This is a this solid is a, wool jacket. Yeah, this is a 15 ounce wool. It's a midweight, not as heavy as our Mackinac. Mm -hmm. And inside is a... Uh, a nylon cotton blend, um, so you know it's it's, it's not going to be completely water resistant, but 
You definitely could use it out in the snow. Well, yeah, I mean, especially like the wool itself is like super water resistant as well. Anyway, yes, this is like wool is straight regular breathable. wool. Yeah, breathable. This is the buffalo plaid as well. It's not as thick as the as the Mackinac Cruiser though. No, but yeah. if you wanted, if you've always wanted to have like a buffalo plaid hoodie that looks a little bit like the Mackinac uh, yeah. Cruiser with a bit more of a modern bend. Right, and that. you can change it up being that it's reversible. Uh, the green here goes to the uh, tan, so a little more solid here. And if you want that buffalo plaid Mackinac look, you can get that colorway. I'm big on reversibility this year, huh? Yes, yeah. very much. Twice the jacket. <laughs> it's twice the jacket. <laughs> One of my favorites is the uh, field flannel, and this is a 7.2 ounce cotton, uh, really tightly woven cotton, and then we brush it on, on both sides to give it this really nice hand. Uh, it feels like almost like a chamois. Yeah. Um, so great shirt, and we do five colors. These are new colors, right? These are all new colors. Okay. Uh, for fall, they'll be one and done. Plaid here. I like that one a lot. And this is great. It's a houndstooth. Very cool. And these are all new colorways for 2022. Yes, we will we'll run these and then uh, we'll do new ones the next season. Mm -hmm. Is all this new? Um, everything on this rack is new. Um, Talk this, about all yeah, no, we'll talk, this, this <laughs> is one of my favorite pieces. Um, we have never done a tin cloth uh, jacket with a hood built in. Yeah. Um, this is a 14.75 ounce uh, oil finished tin cloth, and it is Prima Loft Gold uh, insulated. So really, just I, I tried it on yesterday. It's an amazing jacket. Just heavy duty, um, open back, so very easy on the maneuverability. Nice. Um, just a good just handle a pockets. Yeah. Yeah. This is so Tin Club is like oh. Filson's like the the most iconic, exciting thing. Um, this this jacket this here is Tin Club. I've got multiple Tin Club bags, uh, and this is the the first time you've attached a hood to a Tin Club jacket. Right. Yes. That's excellent. Yeah. This coming bulletproof jacket that will be available. I want to say uh, August September. Okay. And Prima uh, ups the insulation, right? Yes. I think this one's 100 grams. Excellent. And this is? This is a jacket that we currently make, but we put the hood on it. So this is um, an oil finished tin cloth uh, down jacket. It's 650 traceable goose down. And um, we've been doing this coat. It's, it's a great seller. We make it in a vest as well. Mm -hmm. And um, we introduced it with this hood attached. So what's the, what's the lining? Is it cotton lining? Uh, the lining on this guy is a nylon. Okay. Lining. So it's nylon lining and it's a tin cloth outer. You got the hood. It's a goose down. And it's got goose down insulation. So if yes. your thing is like natural materials, like this, this might be, you might prefer this over the uh, the pre moth insulation here, but in either case, they're both going to keep you super warm. Yes, exactly. Excellent. Warm right. and dry as well. <laughs> cool. All right, so that is. This is exciting new outerwear for the uh, 2022 season, the 125th anniversary. There's a couple other things that are coming out as well. I sort of like a new dry bag and there are a couple of vests here as well. But uh, I'm personally a big fan for uh, Filson's jackets and outerwear and so that's what I made this video about. Keep an eye out on Filson and like follow them on Instagram to get the details on like when all this stuff is going to be released. And uh, Greg, thank you very much for your time. Oh, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Can you me back all the time? Sure. Anytime you all want right. to come back. All the time. Just, okay. Just if I'm here, I'll let you. All right, I'm moving in. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, and also subscribe if you just went up here, because there's a lot more content about like yeah heritage stuff and Filson gear and boots and everything else coming up on the channel.